She put the glad into gladiator. She's Diane Yodale. He put the me into media. He's Neil Buchanan. Oh, hello there. Welcome back. It's fantastic to be back. And this is the all-new Finders Keepers. Yes, this is the place where we can now do even more of those things that you can't actually do at home, because this is our house. Whose house is it? <laughs> hey, let's get this straight, Neil. Right. Our team is battling it out head-to-head, -head, finding objects hidden in rooms, and in return for those said objects, we get some brilliant prizes, yeah? That's how we do it. OK, that's not a problem. Ah, uh, you just wait and see, because this is the toughest finders keepers ever. The prizes are the best ever, and the teams are fantastic, but evenly matched. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 man. Have a, a secret weapon. Have they? What's that? Me. Now, listen, you may have fitness on your side, but <laughs> I know this house like the back of my hand. Neil. What? It's the front of your hand. Let's go meet the team, shall we? Sure. Come on, let's go. <laughs> My yellow terrors are from Stephen Nitch and they are Stephen and Nicole. Yes! Yeah. And look who I've got. Yes, I've got them. They're green and they're very mean. They're the green meanies from Belfast. And they are Louise and Stephen. So, yeah. teams, are you ready to play Finders Keepers? Yeah. Yes! Signatures with it as well. Now, as this is the all new Finders Keepers, we've made the raids even tougher. Only one of you yellow terrors is going to go into the garage to find the first object. Ah, yes, but in this new series, just to make it doubly difficult, one of you green meanies is going to be going in at the same time. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot about that. Now then, the first one back wins themselves a five second head start in the room raid. So, what's the first thing we're going to be looking for? A scarf. A scarf. OK, so who's going first? Me. Stephen. And who's going first from the Green Meanies? Me. OK. Right, teams, are you ready to raid? Yes. OK, well, get in that garage! Get the team, come on! Come on, you Greens, let's go! Look at this, absolutely everywhere! Absolutely everywhere! Look at this, point close! That's it, look at this! Yeah, but there's still plenty of time to go, cos guess what? We're going to do it all again, and now it's your turn. So what are we looking for? A woolly hat. A woolly hat. Thank you. Thank you. Get in that garage! Thank you. Thank you. I like the double jump. Look at that. A woolly hat. A woolly hat. Oh, dear, dear. A woolly hat. We're looking for a woolly hat. You know a woolly hat that you wear on your head? A woolly hat. 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 Jake! 
A woolly hat. Look at that. That was a bit of inspiration at the end there, wasn't it? It was the only thing that we hadn't looked in. Excellent. So, at this point, it's all level, but anything could happen because we're about to play a new game. Pit stop. Watch this. <laughs> But now the bad news. Look at that lot down there. It's dirty, it's disgusting, it's axle grease and oil. It's our garage pit. And you know, every home should have one. And I don't know what you two are laughing at, or you two, because that's where you're <laughs> going, into that pit. Now, this is how we play it. You see, hidden in the garage pit are loads of tools. Now, what you teams have to do is find the four different tools to make up your own toolkit. It's the first one with a complete toolkit that wins themselves a further five seconds head start in the room raid. So, are you ready to get greasy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Plunder that pit. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Buchanan, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not stupid. I've got my best clothes on today. Oh. Well, at this point, we get the five second head start for the room raid, so we are five seconds ahead in the room raids. It means nothing at this stage. <laughs> Believe me, Mr. Buchanan, and wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> Right, but it does mean we get to choose which set of rooms we go in for the room raid. Up or, bar, up or down? Uh, down upstairs. Even. Upstairs. Okay, then. Now, listen, no one is going anywhere. Certainly not in that house. Certainly not anywhere near me. Covered in axle grease. Look at that. It is absolutely disgusting. So I think we should get cleaned up, don't you? <laughs> I don't think so, too. You're ringing. You're enjoying that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> ringing yourselves out. Now, while the girls disappear, we're going to find out a little bit more about our teams as they prepare to raid our house. Whose house? <laughs> The Yellows come from Stevenage. Stephen has a small bedroom and a loud voice. He likes singing along to pop music. His drawing room exhibits a wide selection of ornaments. At weekends, he enjoys a variety of sports. Nicole has a black and white baggy jumper. She enjoys the thrill of disco dancing. When asked about love life, she replied, does Paul Nicole's count? Huh, I guess she'll have to ask his accountant. Ambition to do well in life and dance in a big London show. The Greens are from Belfast. Louise spends dad's money on clothes, enjoys neighbours and netball. She likes to read, rode a camel in Turkey, has a cat called Cindy. She stands one metre, 52. At home, Stephen likes 
collects Pamela Anderson and the use of a full-size snooker table. He has a dog, a king collector of Star Wars memorabilia. Best friend, yes, Christopher Petten. Now back to Diane and Neil, who enjoy authentic English cuisine. Ah, you see, now we know all of your secrets. Well, now it's time to get down to business. Now, we're going to do some room raids, but we're going to do it in a very new way. We've got four rooms that each team are going to raid at the same time. The first team to get through all four rooms, OK? All four rooms goes on the super surge. That's right. Now, it was all in the spanner. In a pit stop, the, guy, the green meanies got the spanner. We were even Stevens at that point, but they managed to pull ahead with those five seconds. But I tell you now, guys, it means nothing. Ah, just you wait and see, Di. Just you wait and see. Mm. So that's how we're going to play Finders Keepers from now on. So, are you ready? Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> OK, I'm going to give you some clues to an object, and then you go and raid, cos we've got a five-second head start. Are you ready for this? OK, the first object you're looking for, it's... You put it on a, a, a pot of something and it looks like a hat, a woolly hat. You put it on a pot... A where, hat. Yeah, where, what is it? What goes on it? What I goes on it? Save the room, yes! Tea cozy. That's what it says. Come on, let's go for it. Put a tea cozy. On a pot that's got tea in it to keep it warm. Tea cozy! A tea cozy! Tea cozy! Where would we find it? That's right. Where would we find it? Look up here. And they started and they're catching us up. Look in there, look in there, look in there. Look everywhere. We're looking for a tea coaching. Any ideas where it is? I've got no idea. Okay, so it's going to go in the other way. No, okay. What then, Peter? What about on the top? What about on the top? Okay, stay on the top. What are they doing? Now they're still on the top. What about on the top there? We're looking for tea coaching. Have you got it? We've got it! We've got the tea coaching! <laughs> into the next room! Come on! Into our next room! Go on, go through there! Okay. Into the next room! Next and here we are! And in this room, I'll tell you what we're looking for. We're looking for something that explodes and it looks like a candle. Boom! No! It looks like a candle with a... With your light that's not with it. And it explodes up. Once again, it looks like a candle. <laughs>
do you do the dishes with, that thing? This no, no. You put them on your ass. That's it. Nick, you want the Stop the raid. Sit down, you mother. No, I'm exhausted. I think I'll sit down. Come around here. Look at that. We were pipped right at the last second. Look at their faces. Look at this, this face. Don't be too dejected, because no one goes away from finders keepers empty handed. You get a fantastic goodie pie. Louise and Stephen, you each get to take home a T-shirt, calculator, wallet, stopwatch, sunglasses, personal organiser, pen, bum bag, rucksack, and yes, that's your finders keepers goodie pack. Yes. Let's hear it for the Greens. Were they fantastic? Now listen to the Greens. The main thing is, did you enjoy yourself? Yes. But you came all the way from Belfast for absolutely nothing. Not to worry, I came from Liverpool for nothing today. But next week, we will do it, the Green Meanies. You've enjoyed yourself, haven't you? Yeah. That is the main thing. Now, listen, if you can bear to look at this, let's have a rerun and see just how we failed miserably. Both played Hunt the Chico, Zebra Greens found it first behind the radiator. Yellows found theirs soon after in the second to bottom drawer of the wicker jest. Still out in front, Greens hot-footed into the kitchen, but Neil's mind technique did nothing to help his team. They didn't know what they were looking for. He tried his best as Yellows started to raid their second room. Yes, the bathroom saw an explosive situation as they hunted for the dynamite, leaving Neil still manically miming. What were they looking for? They hadn't a clue. Yellows not only knew, but found it too and went into the lead. Yellows found their watering can in the teddy bear bag hanging off the bed and made their way into their fourth and final room, the attic. It was no picnic, but the Greens finally found the dynamite, so that's what it was, and blasted their way into the living room. This was their third room. They needed to find that watering can quick to make up for lost time, and yes, they did, while Yellows were still rummaging in the attic. It was now neck and neck. They were all raid crazy, but you've got to hand it to her. The Yellows found the rubber gloves and are through to the super search. But I have to say, the green meanies were pretty close, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Right, you do impersonations, don't you? Yeah. Can you do Neil? No, if I can do you. Oh, oh. I think my job's under threat, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> OK, let's find out what it is we're going to be looking for on the Super Search while we make our way to the first room. Let's go. The prizes today are in room one, a tea towel, room two, a table tennis kit, complete with net balls and bats, room three, a juggling diabolo, room four, a top-selling Disney video, room five, an art kit with a wealth of art materials, room six, a great handheld games console, room seven, a stereo musical keyboard, and in room eight, a mystery star prize. <laughs> You have four, ro four rooms. You have four minutes even to get through eight rooms. In each room, there is a hidden object on that object or the prize that tells you where to go to next. The more rooms, the more prizes. And if you get all eight, what do you get? The mystery star prize. It could even be the mystery star prize. Good luck, my yellow terrors. Right then, what time is it? <laughs> It certainly is, Big Breath. Right, we are looking for a tea towel. Go!
music book. A music book. Right! I found what we're looking for in the bathroom. We're looking for... A music book. A music book. A book. A what? A music book. A music book. I don't even know what we're looking for. It's a music book. Music book is going to be black. as the alarm went off and you were looking down at Did you see that? Yeah. You did see that. Then she's got the yeah. answer! Yeah. I trust her. Let's find out exactly what it is. You have won a tea towel, a table tennis kit, a juggling diablo, a wonderful Disney physio, a colourful art kit, a games console, a stereo musical keyboard and a star prize. A week's fun-packed adventure holiday in the Dordogne. Oh. When you enjoy climbing, sailing, water sports and much, much more. Oh. You can come back next week to join us for all this madness. Now keep your bedroom tidy and stay out of Mum and Dad's bedroom. Join us next week here for all this all over again on Finders Keepers. Yeah!